day. My name is Prof. Harris. It's time for science. Learners, let's get to it. Today, we are looking at another aspect of science. And today, one will consider change of state of matter. In our previous class, we got to know that there are three states of matter. The solid state, the liquid state, and the negation state. Today, we are going to look at what happens to every state of matter with effects from now. So quickly, let's go through. This is our solid substance, this is our liquid substance, and this is our gas. Now, when a solid changes from, when a, a solid changes its state into liquid, usually there is an influence, there is something that causes it to change from solid state to liquid state. The process of changing from solid state to liquid state is what we call melting. And this is done by the application of heat. So when we apply heat to solid, it changes to liquid. Liquid can also change into gas. This is also going to be possible by the application of heat. The process is what we call evaporation. So the process by which a liquid changes its state, which is liquid to a gaseous state, by the application of heat is what we call evaporation. Then we also have a situation where gases will change directly into solid without passing through the liquid phase. Yes, gases will change directly into solid without passing through the liquid phase and that is what we call deposition. The reverse is when we have solid changing directly into gas. Solid changing directly into gas. For instance, the naphthalene ball the naphthalene ball can change directly from solid to gas without passing through the liquid phase and this is what we call sublimation when gas is also able to change its state from the gaseous state to the liquid state by the loss of heat then we can say condensation has taken place. So anytime gas or gases will change from their state into a liquid state, when heat is lost or when heat is removed, we call it condensation. In like manner, liquid can also change directly into solid without any difficulty this process is called solidification or freezing. When heat is removed from liquid, we cause the liquid to change its state to become solid. In this case, we have ice cubes and water. When you take water and you put it in a deep freezer or a chest freezer, in some few minutes, you realize that because heat is taken out of it, it will become ice cream. Now, there are some few things that I want us to look at. The change of state of matter is influenced by temperature. Yes, when the temperature is very high, the substance which is solid will change into liquid. And the substance which is liquid will change into gas. So temperature affects the state of matter. Heat gain affects the state of matter. It is true. When a solid substance gains heat, shear butter, when shear butter gains heat, it changes from the solid state into a liquid state. When ice cube also gains heat, it changes from the solid state into the liquid state. 
And then the final thing I want you to take note heat lost affects the state of matter. This is also true. When you have water and the temperature is reduced to almost zero or negative, that substance tends to solidify. It gets frozen and that is how the change of state of matter occurs. I want you to go through all this, play the video again, listen critically, read from your materials at home and then I want you to come out with concrete answers for today's assignment. Today's assignment is a very simple one. I want you to write all the states of matter. That is the solid, liquid and gas. Then you define every process. What is sublimation? What is condensation? What is evaporation? Define everything and give three examples each. Give three examples each under every process. I'll see you in our next class and when you are done, forward it to me on my WhatsApp number 0547695569. I'll see you in our next class. Thank you.